Okay, problem number 16 on the January 2009 Regents Math A exam. It says, the accompanying box and whisker plots can be used to compare the annual incomes of three different professions. And the professions are listed here. We have a nuclear engineer, a police officer, and a musician. This being the nuclear engineer's uh, annual income in thousands of dollars. This is the police in the middle and musicians out here at the end. And it says, based on this box and whisker plot, which statement is true? So we are looking for the true statement. The true statement. Sometimes they ask for the false statements, but we are looking here for the statement that is true. And usually in problems like this, I recommend reading over the choices first, and then you know, then looking at the data and seeing what you can get out of it. So the first choice says the median income for nuclear engineers is greater than the income of all musicians. The second one says the median income for police officers and musicians is the same. Third says all nuclear engineers earn more than all police officers. The fourth says a musician will eventually earn more than a police officer. So the first two talk about uh, the median. And the median is basically if you list the numbers from least to greatest, the median is the number that is exactly in the middle. Um, meaning if there are you know five numbers, the median would be the third one in. Uh, it is not the average. And in these uh, figures, the median is represented by this line here. So that's the median for the nuclear engineers, that's the median for the police officer, uh, and that's the median for musicians. So the median income for nuclear engineers is greater than the income of all musicians. So here's the median income for nuclear engineers and it's saying this is greater than all musicians income. In other words, no musician makes more than you know this amount of money right here. And that's, that's just not true because uh, you can see that if I continue this line down, you know, all these musicians out there, they make more than the median for a nuclear engineer. So that one is, that's not true. The second one says the median income for police officers and musicians is the same. So again, I've marked the median over here for the police officers, and I marked the median for the musicians, and guess what? They are exactly the same. They're about $30,000 a year for the medians. So this one is true. We're done. It's right there. Uh, let's just go through the other two just to show you that they are false. Uh, third one says all nuclear engineers earn more than all police officers. Well, that means the nuclear engineer who earns the least, this guy out here, makes more than any police officer. But as you can see, the police officers, these guys, make more than that least amount. So that's not true. And then number four says a musician will eventually earn more than a police officer. Um, you know, we have nothing here to indicate, you know, what they might eventually make. There's no guarantee that if you start as a musician making, you know, about $5,000 a year, that at some point you will end up making uh, a little over $120,000 a year. Uh, that would be really nice if you're a musician, but it doesn't always happen. It's not guaranteed. So number four, we just don't have enough data to draw an intelligent conclusion about. So the answer is uh, this choice right here. Okay, moving on to problem number 17. It says, for which value of m, m as in Mary, is the expression 15m squared times n divided by 3 minus m undefined? Okay, and this, the key word here is undefined. And the, the two ways that we have undefined numbers are if we have a square root of some negative number. So square root of negative x, that's generally considered undefined. Undefined, I'll just abbreviate it. Okay, now really you can get, you know, imaginary numbers out here, but in problems like this they generally mean, you know, they'll, they'll specify real numbers are imaginary. But usually that's undefined, but we don't even have a square root, so we don't have to worry about this for this problem. And the second way to get an undefined is to have 1 divided by 0. That, no matter how you slice it, is definitely 
undefined. No way we can define this. It is undefined. I even put an exclamation point because we can have imaginary numbers, but there's no way we can have 1 over 0. So we have a fraction, and we want 3 minus m to equal 0. Actually, we don't want 3 minus m to equal 0, because this is in the denominator. If this is equal to 0, then we're in trouble. So if I have 3 minus m, and I set that equal to 0, that's exactly what I do not want. I can just add m to both sides. And I have 3 equals m. Okay, If m equals 3, then we're in trouble. Because 3 minus 3 is 0, and that means we have something over 0. It can be 1 over 0, 2 over 0, 3 over 0. It doesn't matter what's up here. This doesn't matter. What matters is the 0 in the denominator. If we have this, it's just it's very unhappy. We don't want that at all. So the answer to this question is 3. We do not want to have 3 in the denominator. All right, we'll do one more. Moving on to problem number 18. It says, what is the image of point negative 3, 7 after a reflection in the x-axis? The image. The image, OK? Basically, that says, what point do we get after we reflect it? That's what they mean. This is, you know, what point, which one of these is the point after the reflection? So first, we should plot negative 3, 7, just to visualize what we have here. So we go back 1, 2, 3, and then we go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the point negative 3, 7. Okay, And remember, the x-axis is this. That is the x-axis. So if we reflect, if the x-axis acts as a mirror, it will reflect mirror. Right? We want to think of the x-axis as a mirror, then that means this point will be translated down here somewhere. And we're not going to change its x-coordinate. x-coordinate is going to stay the same. Instead of going up 7, we're going to go down 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this point is negative 3, negative 7. And that is choice number 2. All right, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next problem.